after analyzing the DNA by agrogel electrophoresis, now uh, it can be further evaluated or analyzed by uh, using nucleic acid blotting. Blotting, it describes the immobilization of sample nucleic acids or uh, proteins on a solid spot. And generally, nitrocellulose membranes are nylon membranes. They are uh, mainly used for this purpose. And then after immobilization, then DNA molecules, they can be further uh, analyzed by using different blotting techniques like southern blotting, northern blotting, western blotting. So, this terminology hai, it has nothing to do with the directions of the earth. Ki ye east, hai, ye west, hai, ye north, hai, ya ye south. Hai. So, actually, uh, these terminologies, uh, they are after uh, the name of inventor. For example, Southern blotting was first time used by Edward Southern in 1975 for the immobilization or the detection of the DNA on the solid spot. So, so that's why the name Southern blotting was given. And just to show similarity, other terms like um, uh, Western blotting or the uh, Northern blotting, they were used. After immobilization of the DNA on the solid spot like nitrocellulose membrane or nylon membrane, then um, such nucleic acids they can be used for hybridization experiments. Now, why we perform hybridization experiment? Our first karen ke aapne DNA ka essa fragment immobilize kiya hai gel se whose sequence is known and it's your gene of interest and it is well characterized. Well characterized means that you have the idea how many base pairs are there, what is the sequence of these base pairs and then to detect this sequence you have a probe. Now what is a nucleic acid probe? So nucleic acid probes it, it is actually a single strand of DNA or RNA that is used to detect the complementary sequence in the uh, target DNA. So, the sequence of the gene of interest is known. The probe, it is also having the complementary sequence. And this probe, it is labeled with some um, radioactive substances like phosphorus 32. So that later on it can be uh, detected by autoradiography. Now, what is autoradiography? we are going to discuss after some time. So for the hybridization, stringency control it is very very important. Stringency means that uh, the degree of homology to which the target sequence it is detected by our nucleic acid probe. And it is uh, generally regard, regarded as the specificity with which a particular target sequence it is detected by the hybridization probe and for probe you have the idea that probe is a fragment of DNA or RNA that is complementary towards our target DNA. This diagram showed the nucleic acid blotting and hybridization. So here in the first step, we have immobilized the DNA on the solid spot that is either a nitrocellulose membrane or nylon membrane. And then they can also be denatured here so that double stranded DNA uh, can be converted into single stranded. And then it can be analyzed by southern blotting or northern blotting or any other type of blotting. And then this nitrocellulose membrane that contained our denatured DNA that is converted into single-stranded forms, then it is placed in a solution that contain our labeled probe. So this probe, it may be the segment of DNA or RNA that is labeled with any radioactive material like P32. And if the DNA sequences of the target DNA and probe, they are complementary with each other, then hybridization will be there. Hybridization means that the formation of double-stranded molecule from single-stranded molecules. To enhance the hybridization so that uh, only complementary base pairing 
must be there so stringency control it is also there for example if stringency it is low that is if melting temperature it is low ionic strength it is high then at low stringency partial dna uh, sequences they can also hybridize but when stringency it is high high means that melting temperature it is high and ionic strength is low so that only complementary base pairing it is there and then after hybridization the complementation process can be observed by auto radiography this diagram showed a typical capillary blotting apparatus so this is the reservoir and with this reservoir of course it contains buffer solution uh, the gel is in contact with this buffer and above the gel one can place the membrane and this membrane then it is in contact with different type of uh, filter papers or tissue papers so that it can absorb the buffer when they will absorb the buffer then the buffer will move upward through the gel and with the flow of the buffer the dna molecule that are contained within this gel they will move on the membrane and here they are immobilized after immobilization now this dna it is ready for hybridization experiment by using radio labeled probe